Prager U, the Prager University, has been making some bad content for a while now. Uh, as you can see, like they're starting the views they're getting on things is just abysmal. Under seven thousand views on a stream they did the other just yesterday. That's that's like it's like rookie numbers. Uh, they have three million subscribers. That's crazy. Uh, so parent alert. After school Satan's club clubs are a thing now. Satan clubs. And now here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna press play. I didn't do that. This is muted. This is this is muted right now. They uploaded this. I'm not doing this. Amazing. Prager University scuffed as fuck. She didn't even know she was doing, right? She's sitting here not ready at all for any of this shit. Incredible. Anyway, uh, so we were in like 20-something seconds. This is just them doing not a thing. Wait, did I, did I hear a click? Hold on. No, I did. I did not hear a click. I was wrong. Uh, I wonder how long it goes. This has got to be done soon. No way they get it to a minute. A whole minute without any sound? No fucking way. It's going to startle me, isn't it? Oh, there she is. 41 seconds. Let's go. 41 seconds. You can't get demonetized if you're not saying anything, right? Perfect. I wonder how many people clicked off this shit. <sighs> okay. <coughs> so 41 seconds to get this. I'm not going to watch this whole video. I just want to know what they're mad at. We'll watch, like, I don't know, until I get bored uh, with this. Um, and, of course, <laughs> if you want to, you can always interrupt me. Education, uh, but not right now. Let me watch some of this. Okay, relax. Uh, now it's quiet, Education though? about goodness. Okay, but it's super quiet. I'm going to turn it up. Prager, you can literally not do anything right. Also, is the camera side? Okay, so the way this scene is, like this right here, Makes it look like she's sort of like civics, sideways or for kindergarten like the frame is funny. It makes it look life. tilted. Subscribe to PragerUKids.com for unsatisfying. free. We've got a crazy headline today that actually has has come up a few times now in the three plus years that I've been here at PragerU and PragerU Kids. Oh, that's so fucking depressing. Can you imagine working at PragerU for three long years? God damn, dude. Go. Cool. Sound test before stream? Pff, nah. Right? Our topic You're bored already? Well, don't be bored already. Hold on. Hold on. Hang in there. Because Prager U's Crystal Mom is going to... Is going to show us why the Satan clubs are bad. They, they're doing Satan. For today. First of all, tell me where you're from in the comments on Facebook and YouTube. I want Subtle. Subtle. First of all... At, that wasn't first of all. You fucking actually, it's a minute in, and you were muted for some of it, and now you started saying in the end of your sentence. I think I suffer from whiteness. And now, first of all, like and subscribe. Hey, where are you from? Get some engagement on here. We read it on stream, didn't cool. we? Uh, Quebec. Thanks for two hundred one. We read the Dorico stuff on stream. Oh, maybe not. Well, hold on. I'll look at it in a little bit. Are you? What? What, what? What? I actually don't think you can say that. I think that's an outdated term. Uh, okay, hold on. Dorico says, uh, "You can screenshot this and show it to every scum sucking fuckstick who dares to use our past beef to dunk on you and reply that you're a bad person or whatever the fuck. You and I are cool. You took your shots. I took mine. We're even." <laughs> All right, I'll squash beef. Okay, squash beef. <clears throat> uh, there you go. A little piece for you guys. Um, <laughs> try a smash burger. Ooh, a smash burger would be good. A, f a smash burger would be good. Anyway, I there's actually a person that's mad at me specifically about the Dorico joke uh, that decided that uh, to make up, like, fucking super crazy fantasies about me in his head uh, and start to lob crazy accusations. Sort of like the Cornifesto shit that was happening. Uh, he's sort of cycling back around to that shit uh, because I said the Dorico thing. Um, but, uh, I mean, as you can see, 
He told me he didn't care that much. He was just like, yeah, I mean, I was just roasting you back. I didn't really care. No big deal. Uh, and I was like, because I told him, like, man, if it really, if, it re- if that actually hurt your feelings, that's not what I, I didn't know that that's why you got divorced, uh, you know, then I'm not going to, I'm not going to stand by that. It's not why I made the joke. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, fuck it. <laughs> What's the Rico drama? I made a joke. I said he has a blue check, and I made a joke about him getting a divorce. And apparently, uh, part of the reason he got divorced was uh, because there was some uh, personal shit going on uh, that we don't have to talk about here. But uh, and uh, one like two people got really mad at me. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is. This is Prager. You do it like she took a second. It's cold. She took a second to say, "Hey, everyone, let me know where you're from." Did anyone say, "I'm from Pittsburgh"? There we go. We got one interaction. It worked. Uh, Satan killing the sound. Got him. Uh, no sound for forty seconds. There's not really people. I don't think that engagement worked except for that one guy. That one guy. Ooh. No, I thought that said Kansas. That actually just said Karens. Okay. All righty. Uh, Ol Urko. Thanks, Fawn, dude. I want to know if you are from California, where we are in the belly of the beast, as we like to say, huh. um, or if you're from around the country or some- <laughs> Kirk W. somewhere Kirk else w. around the world. We always love to see where you're from. Okay. <laughs> wow. Sounds like that was a note on the what I need to do at the beginning of my podcast. Ask about, fr- pr- make some kind of thing, engagement happen, please. Please, some engagement. You know what would be better? Saying interesting stuff. I have never, chat, please chat in the chat. <laughs> chat, can you please chat in the chat, please? Thank you. Hey, chat, where are you from? Wrong answers only. Topic for today, which you probably saw in the title, After School Satan <laughs> the are these a thing now? I laugh. This is not funny, but I laugh because I literally don't know what else to do at this point. Many of you know that I'm a mom. I have um, uh, two young-ish children who are still in their very formative years. Um, God, she sounds like she loves the shit out of those kids. You ever heard someone talk about... Um, I have two young-ish kids. Don't really know their ages very much, uh, and they're very—they're still very formative. Their years are formative. Eye contact. Sorry. Yeah. Direct eye contact with this. Fuck. I looked. I looked to chat. So I look to chat when I'm looking at you. Okay. I look closer. I look more at you when I'm not talking to you than I do when I'm talking to you, chat. Cause chat isn't in my camera. Chat's in chat. Chat has always been in chat, and chat will remain in chat. I guess I could put the camera down here, down, down next to the chat. And you can have like an upward sort of like almost like a Dutch angle. It'll always be very, uh, very confusing to look at me. Parts unknown. Ooh, with a <laughs> no reservations. Remember that show? R.I.P. Bro in school and i can't help but just be dude they have this like buzzing noise in the very back of their sound be at a loss every single time i see an even more outrageous headline hit the news cycle and it horse noises was also on the uh, little list of things to do on the stream okay tell them ask them where they are ask them where they are right now for their for their address and then also horse noises <laughs> you never know who could be watching Bosch. in this case last week it was one of those times where i just my children whose names i definitely remember and know the genders of need to be protected from evil satan clubs absolutely horse noises on jake bingo <laughs> bing knowers rejoice again saw the headline and was at a loss but we've seen this particular headline a few times over the last few years after school satan clubs a local cbs station um after school satan clubs is awesome am i allowed to offer 
Okay, this is weird. This is a weird question. So I've actually thought about this because I used to I went to school for teaching and I want to be a coach someday. But I was also thinking what would be cool is like a D&D club for kids like so they can express themselves and sort of like maybe find a group of friends and socialize in a different way and like use their creativity and stuff. Uh, anyway, I was thinking about that. But do you have to be like – do I have to like – because I have that skill and time, but like a teacher isn't necessarily going to, right? Do I have to go fucking – no, I've – you probably have to be part of a school to even be part of any club, right? They're going to be like, who's this fucking guy? He wants to play D&D with kids? What the fuck? Anyway, it does sound a little bit like a Satan club. So I'd love to join a Satan club. Uh, Got to be asked by the kids to be a facilitator. So the kids have to, like, sort of bring that, like, my, my dad wants to do this or that. All right. Okay. Well, it does sound a little weird, I guess. Like, I feel like a school would be like, who's this fucking guy? You guys would be like, oh, I want to play D&D with Jake. You know? I'm trying to look at it from their perspective. <laughs> let's do a, let's go Google this guy and see what he's up to. Oh, that's fucking, maybe we shouldn't. I would be a good influence on your kids if I played D&D with them, though, okay? It would be age appropriate. They would have a blast. I believe it was KCAL or perhaps CBS Los Angeles uh, here in Southern California last week, did a story about how an elementary school in Orange County might soon see, get ready for it, an after-school Satan club. And I want... Hell yeah. So the Satanic Temple does stuff like this uh, because... Like they allow they allow this for Christianity and stuff and other religions. So they're gonna be like, okay, if you if you want that in schools, absolutely. But we're gonna do some Satanism as a treat, and they absolutely have the right to. They just have to have, uh, I assume, uh, people that want to join the club, right? So this is what I'm saying. Like, is there a Satanist that has a kid in the school, or are they just? You must, I guess, if you're a part of like a Satanic temple uh, here, you would have a, a representative go to, like, the school and be like, hey, I want to do this thing, right? Uh, Magnetar, that's 49 months, and then you have to get the school to agree to let you, right? Or maybe they don't have to agree. Maybe you can start a club no matter what. Want to? Why is it so small and weird? Is this all, are you actually running coupons, or is that, like, for the website? No, this is just literally your browser. Why is PragerU's situation more scuffed than mine? Why... <laughs> I even have leftist audio and shit. How how is this how is mine better looking? What's going on, Prager you? They put this lady out on a fucking island and she doesn't know how to do content. They have nobody doing this with her? Play for you. Well, I didn't make this. Brooke Brooke made the out overlay, so she has pride in her work. I mean, obviously I have pride in mine as well, but uh I take no credit for this overlay. It says it right there. Over on the side. Brooke did it. Uh, and then Sarah did the emotes and stuff. And then, well, Brooks did the animated emotes. Anyway, uh, lovely ladies helping uh, make this place better. So, honestly, uh, PragerU could use a woman's touch, but a, but a woman that knows how to use a fucking computer, you know? Just, this is the problem with these. The Right-wing things are often run by men, and it shows hard, okay? It really shows segment the entire new segment my entire management team is essentially women if we want to call them that we call them the uh, the big cobs the 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 hot ho the hoss cobs i don't know they're in charge uh they're essentially all ladies they're not all but like you know the core group certainly is and that wasn't on ten on purpose but we have a team we do we have a cob team cob team six it's real uh yeah, I don't know why that happened. It's just like those are the those are the people I trust most, I guess, in the community or some of those people. So, yeah. You are part of – you're literally on the mod team in the Discord. Like, if you're in the Discord mod team and then this mod team, you're like deep, deep Cobb management team, you know? Wow. Yeah. Anyway, deep Cobb. I am deep cob fuck. <laughs> yeah, 
You're deep within. The, you're in the core of the cob. You're in the very core of the cob. It's a tower that looks a lot like a corn cob. Each kernel is a little apartment. You guys ever seen Silo? It's like that, but we're outside. I believe is around three minutes or so, but I want you to watch it with me because this is what I saw oh, cool. in my social media social media social media feed last week. And the date on this, if you're watching now, I'm pulling this up on my screen. The date on this particular <laughs> news. Uh, Xenon Exmer, you are a mod because you show up to a lot of streams. Not every stream. You show up to a lot of streams, and I trust your judgment in how the vibes ought to be curated. That's why mods exist. If your, mo if your, if your vibes can be trusted with curating the stream, in the because you're a member of the stream, right? You know what you want here and don't want. That's what it is. I'm not trusted to ban people indiscriminately on here. Well, Argonian bum, you're the competition, okay? You're the enemy. I'm on that grind set, okay? You think we're fucking friendly, all right? I am here to crush you. I am here to crush you, not to raid into you if you stream later than me. No, I would never do such a thing because no one streams later than me, okay? I have the worst sleep schedule. I have never ever had anyone to stream. Rarely do I have people to raid into. I actually raided last night, but... Okay? You think... <laughs> Put on your fucking hockey pads. It's time to fucking go, okay? Or whatever they do. How do streamers fight? Stream fight. Like fucking... Uh... Yeah, well, I can't raid cool. Riverboat Jack every fucking day, right? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> you're not going to get an indiscriminate amount of fucking raids just because you're below, you know, you're... you're, sta you're, you're late night but I, I am trying to make sure that my stream is curated to those that stream within the uh, community cob community and i'd like to make sure that we try to do that i've done it in the past but you you know you know across the streams my vibes are horrendous if you're not a mod it's just because we don't need more mods <laughs> you should have got you should got here earlier on the ground level that's how you get there okay and then we can go through a few cullings every once in a while. And then once you go through three, a few of them, then you get all the good ones. All the good ones rise to the top and you're good. It's great. We have immaculate vibes in chat and that's due to you guys. So, You are the vibes in chat. You're the chat. You know, Chat is only as good as you guys are individually and collectively. I am not you. Your chat is you are dope. That's what happened. We've democratized it. Tyrannosaurus probably should be a mod. I actually didn't know you were more than a mod. <laughs> you probably actually. I, I'm going to do that right now. That makes tons of sense. Anyway. <laughs> segment was, I believe, January. There it is. Yeah. January. No, no, no. Actually, on, 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 especially in, in chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Definitely. May 23rd, 2024. And I actually had I had one slot open. There you go. From Michelle. Uh, yours. You're here G every stream. Literally every stream. Lee. No, uh, you have G the power. You have the power. I mispronounced her name, and I actually used to work with Michelle. I trust your um, vibes. Although she was always out You'll in the field and well. I was in the studio. This was when I worked for KCAL Los Angeles News, and she's a, uh, <laughs> she's a fine reporter, and um, this is the report that she brought to the local CBS station last week about an after-school Satan's club, club possibly happening in Orange County, California. You just yep. repeated yourself. This is so fucking boring. Oh, my God. All right, we have to break 10 minutes. I will not watch less than 10 minutes of this video, okay? Fewer than 10 minutes of the video if Dr. Randy's in chat. Uh, you've been knighted, yeah. Uh, how do I apply for power? I'm here all the time, too. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you go so hard, Singing Reaper. I cannot. I just want you to be, live free and not worry about what I got going on, okay? I want you to just live free. It's better for both of us. <laughs> Sometimes you just want to fucking, you want to go in. Okay, and so yeah, you just you just ride that out, ride the fucking lightning. Okay, I don't want to I don't want to clip those wings, <laughs> but I would have to be like all the time, I'd be like, hey, we'll chill. We gotta you know give them a chance. <laughs> yeah, so so you could consider yourself one of the one of the uh, you you are an emergency deputy for sure. Okay, you're on my you're on my list. <laughs> but you are, yeah, you have rage as a bonus action. It's best we just keep you, <laughs> just let you go, do Yeah. <laughs> you're definitely, you're absolutely in the militia. You you volunteered for that shit. There's a few of you, do Chrissia, too? Mostly on Twitter. 
comes in here, oh man, is willing to duke it out. Willing to duke it out on Twitter forever. I sustain on that sometimes. It's nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll be going over my mod list again soon. If we have more slots, I'll I'll be doling them out to people who are here all the time. I have some uh, gnome pickles is one of them. It's on my mind. Uh, okay. She's so she's cool. she's done repeating herself about the Satan. We've had more fun talking to each other than any fucking thing she said. These are the Cobb apartments you're looking at. I have been sent these. I have been DM'd. People have slid into my DMs with these before. They're like, hey, have you seen these? <laughs> yes they're dope <laughs> and also uh they irritate me a little bit you know at the same time like the idea of living in that just makes me mad like the parking like this hideous awful but they, they're cool from afar <clears throat> uh, adhd on your bingo cards for jay by the way are you guys actually producing a bingo card I should never be allowed to play it. Actually, that that would be fun. Maybe, maybe Sarah plays bingo on her stream while watching my stream. <laughs> that could be fun. <laughs> Jake bingo during Jake's stream. <laughs> Let's watch this right now. There is a move to start what's called the After School Satan Club at an Orange County Elementary School, but organizers say this isn't about worshiping Satan. Instead, mm. they say the intent is to promote intellectual and emotional development and... Fuck yeah. Of course it is, right? Because, uh... <laughs> she's, but they believe in Satan. It says Satan in the thing. Yeah, actually, this is um, a beautiful tactic that I love... It, it attacks religious institutions at the core of their problem, right? It's like, well, yeah, you can come up with an intellectual argument on why teaching uh, evil Satanism to children is bad, right? Okay, that's how we feel about Christianity. Boom. So we shouldn't be allowed to do this in schools. We agree. Let's separate ways. If you want to do it in your home, go for it, which I also disagree with. But, I mean, not not. I mean, you're allowed. I mean, intellectually, I disagree with you teaching your kids that. I'm not going to make it illegal, though. And an alternative to He'll religious say. after school clubs. And as KCAL News reporter Michelle Geely shows us, the club has people talking. Yeah. Everywhere is talking about it. A group called the After School Satan Club is putting down roots in conservative San Clemente. Oh, fuck yeah. So good. Maybe I should do shit like this. Just the atheist club. Can I do an atheism club with the kids? We're atheists. And we just hang out and talk about stuff. Literally anything. Its meeting spot is Truman Benedict Elementary School, which has a lot of people concerned. This is a public school and a public venue uh -huh. to allow uh, the Prince of Darkness in. And any <laughs> to allow the Prince of Darkness in? <laughs> That's okay, dude. <laughs> Prince of Darkness. Uh, dude, that... I would love to – I've said this before on stream. We should we should have a person who genuinely believes in demons summon a demon for me on stream. We should just do a demon thing and summon one. I think that would be great. Yeah. I mean, why be scared of this, man? I cannot – people actually believe this. I think I suffer from whiteness. <laughs> you know what, though? I don't – it is. This is definitely suffering for whiteness, uh, but uh, <laughs> cool. I don't think this would play well in in any religious community. Uh, but who is the king of darkness? The king of darkness, God. Yeah, he created darkness, and then he created light. You have demons in your home. You just call them cats. Uh, I'm sorry. We have a prince and a uh, a rat, a bog rat. Any given, and you can call it anything you want, but why call it a Satan club if it isn't a, something to do with Satan? Yeah, that's my point. Exactly. I'm going to pause it right there. Why call it a Satan club if this is nothing to do with Satan? For this right here. Ooh, exactly this. 
because I often think as a mom and mm -hmm. of course here as someone who creates Prager U Kids content about goodness and uh, wholesome education. <laughs> it's actually doing really poorly. Let's check it out. Let's check out how poorly this is going. We have some Prager U. Prager In 1881. U. Stop it. Some Prager U things. Where's the. Was that James Garfield? No, no, no. Where's the. Uh, why are these videos doing well? Benjamin Harrison, one term wonder. James Garfield. Why are those doing well? These are not. These people are waiting for the premiere of the Grover Cleveland President series. Oh, they're doing presidents. Are, is her kids content even on here, dude? Are you serious? You can see sometimes they just get fucking 4,000 views. There must be something why it's better to travel alone. Sometimes they, they get 100,000 views and then sometimes 4,000 fucking views. <laughs> what? Uh, they Maybe it's in their community? Oh, fucking... Why are we... They're doing Dylan Mulvaney content? Well, I can't find their their kids thing, but she's here now, I guess. Her kids' content does really poorly, though. No one watches it. You've never seen this lady in your life. Ever once. I always wonder, is this real? Do they name these clubs this for shock and awe value? The Satan Club. Thank you, David Harper, San Clemente resident, who voiced his, you know, very reasonable opinion. If it has nothing to do with Satan, why... His very reasonable opinion, by the way, was, why are we letting the Prince of Darkness into school? A reasonable guy. You're calling it a Satan club. Let's continue watching the segment now. Cool. Or, you know, what? The after school Satan club is supposed to have its first meeting here on February 12th. But what isn't clear is if any parent has signed their child up. A brochure on the website says uh -huh. that kids between 5 and 12 can attend with a permission slip. No, definitely not. No way. <laughs> Tell me why. Uh, just because our foundation is more evangelical. The <laughs> this is perfect for your evangelical kids. This is perfect. Go have them save some souls or something. I would love to start an atheist club at any school. That would be great. People are so precious of this. They're so weird. I am not a member of any satanic temple, but that would be fucking dope. People, people freak out about it, though. I mean, I'm not into it aesthetically, to be honest. I, Sarah kind of is. She grew up Catholic, though, so she's all fucked up, you know. <laughs> Baffles me people are scared of this. It really does. <laughs> I heard her from across this fucking room. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I dare someone to tell me what the difference would be between Satan Club and a Jafar Club? Hmm. Jafar is more obviously gay coded. Satanic Temple, Southern California, says its after school program exists to provide a safe and. You found a succubus Go summoning ritual? That sounds like exactly what I need in my life. Sarah, succubus? We down? Uh, what better way to prepare them for the lies and tricks of Dark Prince? Inclusive alternative to religious clubs seeking to convert school children. Pat Diskin is one of the crossing guards at Truman Benedict Elementary. I don't understand why everyone's up in arms about it. If you have a child or if you have, are a parent, Pat? you pay attention to what that kid does. Based? You know, it, it sounds like to me it's for show. You know, it's for shock and awe. A s yeah. Wow. That was so easy. Fucking... She might not even be a Satanist. She's just like, yeah, do whatever you want, man. <laughs> I love it. Spokesperson for Capistrano Unified School District Hilarious. says it's required to allow the use of its campuses to nonprofits, quote, Ooh. Because the school district grants the use of facilities this to religious organizations that are recognized as such by the Internal Revenue Service, we are required to provide the same access to school facilities that other comparable organizations receive. Yep. You're going to try to ban Satanism? Okay, I'm going to pause right there. Yeah. We're obligated. Yes. We're obligated. We're obligated. Now, ah! they They literally are obligated if they want government funding. It's a public school. They are quite literally obligated. I just, it, it, 
If I wasn't on a microphone, I would scream right now, but I don't want to. Amazing. To disturb Cam, who, you know, I don't want to damage Cam's young hearing, who's operating the boards. Capistrano Unified School District. <sighs> what I would give as a mother, uh -huh. as someone who used to be a fan and, and, and cheerleader for public education, used to be a fan of public education. <laughs> yeah. Huh. I'm now for private education. What I would give for any given school district member to speak out when faced with things that are damaging to children to speak out. And <laughs> <laughs> What's da have you Go to the Satan Club and see what it's about, man. They're going to go to Satan Club and these the, the Satan Club is going to be like, well, so today we're going to talk about uh animals in the ocean uh, anyone know an animal in the ocean you Susie? fish that's right anyone anyone have a specific kind of fish swordfish and that's how it would go and they would they would name fish for three hours and then leave you can always judge a book by its cover and title hmm public school in general was was, was damaging to you you know we all have a little public school some of us have a lot of public school trauma some of us have a little i had a pretty good time in school in high school i liked high school don't be mean a lot of people don't like high school you hate it all school damn i i was in a small town school though so mixed bag i mean you know i didn't have a hundred percent good days in high school but yeah it was good say this is not right we don't agree with this what i would give no instead they give this statement because the school district grants the use of facilities to religion <laughs> yeah just organizations that are recognized by the irs we're required to provide the same access what whatever happened to speaking up for what is reasonable and good and decent in accordance to our fundamental United States values. Ooh, well, uh, because I am not a Christian and I don't believe in that. Hail Satan. Uh, you want to get rid of the First Amendment. I look forward to banning Christianity and making Satanism the one true religion. The door swings both ways, lady. That's right, Doc. It's absolutely true. Uh, so the Establishment Clause in the First Amendment says uh, that you can't make uh, favorites out of your religions and that we get to uh, express uh, peacefully. And this is a uh, 501c3, I assume, uh, recognized. Uh, it might, it's, a, it's a nonprofit, and it's a recognized religion. Uh, they can absolutely do this. I mean, get over it, dude. I would sign my kid up in a second. That are based on Judeo-Christian values. Ooh, they're not, though. They're not based on Judeo-Christian values. And also, God not real. Milady. Let me continue with the segment. Mm -hmm. Start leaving your comments in the comment section because yeah. I do start. Hey, chat. Can you chat a little? Chat. Will you let? Will, can you chat a little in chat? Uh, chat. Can you chat a little, please, so that we can have some engagement. Um, very natural engagement in chat, please. We want to read them today. Let's finish watching the segment. Naturally to do engaging. otherwise would likely violate the First Amendment. The district does not endorse any organization. That's yeah, right, she they... hates the First Amendment or something now? Crazy. Isn't that weird that the right wing hates the First Amendment? The right to freedom of speech? They fucking hate it all the time? Isn't that so weird? Hmm. If they allow one group, they have to allow another group. So Ooh, Look at all these legitimate chatters. Cruzy, first time chatting, says chat. And Clement, True. Michelle Geely, KCAL News. Illegal okay, pants. Michelle... Wait a second. Where'd you get those? Where'd you get those pants? And why are they illegal? What are they packing? Gili, thank you for that report. I really appreciate it. Um, I think she did a good job. I mean, you know, I, I listen, I don't agree with this, but unfortunately, oh, when you are a journalist, a there's a there's a. Whoa, those are some illegal pants.
true journalist, you really are just supposed to present the facts of the engagement, story engagement, and the accounts comments. of the people that you, um, you know, that you that you interview on the street without any kind of a bias. And I think she did a good job presenting this because this really is <laughs> an incendiary story. Um, but again, again, I am just at a loss mm-hmm. for how how to we- how can we. <laughs> How, as a Christian fascist, how can I get away with a one state religion and then just banning all the other religions? How can, I'm at a loss. I just don't know how to do it. The answer here is you can't, okay? You're fucked. You're just fucked. You don't, you don't get to establish a religion. And in fact... Non-religious people are the fastest growing, now the largest single group in America among belief systems. There's more total Christians than there are non-believers, but they separate Protestant and Catholics into their own groups. So we're about 30% or so right now. That's super good. And then, of course, you know the other religions. Weak. So many people really have become. And it's become offensive to stand up and say this is not appropriate for children our country was founded on judeo-christian values uh having a satan club goes against collectively what is in the best interests of our community our country and especially our children impressionable children all right let's talk about all those things we have to pull apart a little bit of it we have to talk about uh, the fact that you just said that the well-being of your community was at the forefront of your mind, and you're not a communist, so I'm very, I'm very sus about that. Do you think healthcare is a human right for children? You know, do you think children ought to be given the the human right of healthcare? What about education? Do you think kids should have education, food, shelter? Do you think children should have the human right to shelter and food? Or do you only care that the ones that survive those conditions, if they do make it to a school that is, of course, private because their parents are wealthy enough to afford it, that they don't get taught about Satan or something? Go. Go. Why do you want to get near the impressionable children? What were you doing at the devil's sacrament? Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If I was inventing an insidious evil religion, I would invent Christianity. I mean, it is the most insidious and evil religion. You can say Islam has, like, some violence issues. True. Insidious, though? It's more like in your face, right? It's more like, no, this is exactly... You can kind of tell. Like, that's... Oh, that's a... That is an extreme Islamist person, right? You can tell that. Extreme Christian Christian ass motherfuckers, they'll be a little fucking sneaky with you. They'll slide that shit in. We'll be like, oh, by the way, I'm a secret fucking ethno-nationalist. Cool. Excellent. Oh, you just have all these power structures and you want to... They, 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 they collude together to try to get, like, specific people on school boards in local elections. They try to get people in certain, in certain uh, sectors of uh, American business so they can uh, keep other people out. Uh, it's just they've been doing this for so long. Judges, oh yeah, they hide their power levels for sure. And and it's just it's sad to me that we've you know so many people have been backed into a well if they allow one group they have to allow the other group. It's not, no, uh, actually, fucking they're not backed into it. It's in the fucking constitution, dummy. It's in the constitution. Actually, yes. People, 2024, again, it's still January, so I'm going to keep reiterating this. 2024 has to be the year of bravely speaking truth. Yeah. It has to. We are. 250 years? So 248 years or something ago, I think. Is that the correct math? Maybe 300? Wait. No, we had the bicentennial. Yeah. Are out of time, right? <laughs> we are out of time. It's it has to be a year centered on speaking truth They're and fucked. not being afraid. Okay, I've actually been seeing some polls, and I know that Biden sucks and everything, uh, but it's not looking good for for Donnie. It's really not looking good. I know it's it's early, 
Um, but I think they're going to give us a federal weed, and I think that's going to say to a lot of people. Uh, they just did an increased uh, uh, child income tax thing, uh, which was bipartisan, which is hilarious. But you know, you're going to get your little stimmies, and uh, you know, I. <laughs> Every time someone says it's a year for that, it always backfires. Student loan forgiveness is happening. I think they're going to dangle some shit out in front of you. Taylor Swift is changing the Swifties over. Uh, yeah, I think um, Biden sucks in some ways. He's terrible on Palestine. It's a big issue for lefties, and we've been fighting about it all year. <laughs> uh, ooh, I want a Fed post. Ooh, yeah, Fed post, Fed post. Hey, chat, what's your favorite crime? Uh, do we really have to vote between genocide or fascism? Blah. Uh, yeah. So it's genocide or gen genocide and fascism is what it is. Genocide or genocide and fascism. It's genocide for me. Uh, and hopefully hopefully he feels the pressure and comes around on this issue a little bit around election time because the lefties are going to give it to him. And I'm going to be honest, I, I don't know how I can tell you, like, it's it's harm reduction but if you're not going to listen to me about harm reduction and just pragmatism, I don't know what the fuck to tell you about the Biden thing. If harm reduction isn't enough for you right now, like, because I think I think it's some people sell harm reduction. Like, this is the only political act we're going to do for four years is vote this one time. No, we're going to vote and then we're going to do other stuff. It's a tool in the tool belt. And whether we like it or not. The powers that be that literally truly run this country do act just because we don't like capitalism or American uh, industrial complex and violence, you know, being um, centered in the police and stuff doesn't mean that they don't agree with. It. I mean, they're literally doing that, right? They have the power. Um, so they're going to respect the results of this election, whether we don't fucking like it or not. So uh, we need to do the most we can with the opportunities we have. And unless you're trying to be an actual fucking revolutionary uh, and get out here uh, doing things uh, that are probably going to get you fucking um, got by the government before you can accomplish them, uh, then, I mean, you know, I think we need to use every tool in the toolbox and do some political advocacy, try to get some progressives into different por forms of power, and then hope that uh, one or both of these candidates just fucking croak and we have an actual good person run, you know? Uh, whether it's before or after they get elected, uh, you know, and punch more Nazis. I mean, yeah, absolutely punch more Nazis. You know, you know, this summer is going to be fucking hot. OK, you know, this summer is going to be hot. There's going to be some bullshit that fucking happens. Cops are going to do some fucked up shit. The military's going to do some fucked up shit. Some fucking, you know, something's going to fuck up. We're all going to get fucking pissed off and we're going to have to do some shit again. It's all going to happen. You know, you know, that's what's going to happen every summer. Every single summer. Gets hot on them streets, dude. <laughs> Fave crime is crying on the witness stand, and specifically California walking backwards in Devon, Connecticut. Ooh. I eat vegetables sometimes. You 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 deserve it. Yeah. Deserve a better time. Trump looks like he's actually dying. He has fucking hand sores. Yeah, he's he's losing it. Both broke it's Harris versus Haley, and that's cringe too. Is he picking Haley? Because she's she doesn't like him. I didn't stop Ted Cruz, I guess. Of a vicious, angry, misguided mob of evil, for back of a lack of a better word. You're calling the Satanic Temple a vicious, angry mob? Huh. See, that's how I feel about Christians. To, to, for us to back down. It, it can't be this way. Just for kicks. I want to move on. Just for kicks, because again, I I'm always say, is bro. this real? Is this for shock and awe? Maybe there's some, you know, random... Oh, it's fucking real. It's both, though. It's real and for shock and awe. Yeah. Some people doing this just to, you know, start chaos, um, which... I did see the White House prescription sheet where they had a bunch of fentanyl and narcotics and shit. They also had, like... They had like, do they have tons of Adderall or something? What was it? The boys were posting about it in the chat. They fit. Which will lead me to another point later, which I'll discuss. But just for kicks, I looked up after school Satan clubs. 
I literally went to Google and I wrote well, after my eyes with this. because I wanted to see, is this a thing now? From time to time, I do see this come up in my feed. And there's a few things that uh-huh. I did find. So okay, I'm gonna, I'm, I, I kind of I said I was going to maybe stop at 10 minutes, but I'm kind of happy that she's so triggered by this. So I'm going to stick around a little bit longer, you know. And these are just like little blips that I found. I mean, it's endless. If you look here on Google, I did look it up. After school Satan clubs. Okay, the Satanic Temple oh, comes out. I'm read scrolling it. on uh, if you're She's watching along out. right now on Facebook and YouTube Live. Wikipedia. <laughs> oh my God! Hey, if you're watching along right now, just get a like and a subscribe real quick. Uh, I need to force engagement every three minutes. I'm actually surprised though when they do Dennis Prager's content. There's an ad literally every 140 seconds or some shit. So at least this is contiguous. Yeah, the New York Times. How after you couldn't even get an overlay for this though. There's like literally nothing you could have done here to make this look Satan like not Club shit. Is shaking these. Uh, Gino, thanks so much for continuing your gift sub. He's up. The Guardian, CBS News, Fox 59, The Hill, AP News, News Nation, New Republic, American Civil Liberties Union, Orange County Register, The Guardian, Inquirer.com, CBS We're News. We're just naming sources? All right, never mind. Got bored again. Okay, so she's triggered about the Satan thing. <laughs> Prager You is a, a shit show. What an actual shit show. They don't have anything set up. Look at this. Her Google account is just fucking sitting here. Look. It's just her personal fucking laptop. We're on PragerU right now. Why doesn't this have like a PragerU symbol? You know? <laughs> Jill. Simonian. It's it's Jill's account. Amazing, cool. dude. Come watch PragerU where our host finally figured out how to use a display capture in OBS. Jesus. Uh... I guess I have production skills. Hey, chat, check this out. Pog? Huh? Stream night, stream thing. That's the end of the. That's the end of the video. I guess Sarah likes me to give hard outs to this. I guess and and give it a little wrap up. Prager, you is fucking dumb. That's your wrap up. That's your wrap up. Hail Satan. Okay. Hail fucking. I'm not even a Satanist. Hail Satan. He's not real. Get over it. You can have school clubs that are fun. Let the kids let the kids experience a little Satan. At worst, it'll be cringe. At best, they'll learn science or something. Make some friends. Get over it. Hail Satan.